So super important video. If you want to bang out super glossy paint jobs, even on a budget and know how to flow this paint on, then you must watch this video all the way till the end. Super important. I wouldn't skip the last 10 minutes and I wouldn't miss the first 10 minutes. Do you know what I mean? So watch this video. Um, I've been painting for over 25 years. I know I look young, but keep watching this video. Watch how I miss it. And this is a quick paint job, by the way. This is like out of my garage, quick, no spray booth, but it comes out like, you know, like your eyeballs will pop out at the end. I mean, it comes out really well for a quick paint job, okay? Um, imagine if we really went custom. And we have these videos in VIP if you want to get, you know, spray booth stuff and all that. We have all, learn how to do body kits and all that. But anyway, keep watching this video. We're going to be spraying a single stage acrylic enamel on this work van here in my garage. Take you through the whole thing step by step. There's other bodywork videos, so if you want to search those on my channel, check them out. Uh, and if you want to learn auto body, don't forget to click over here. Go to learnautobodyandpaint.com um, to get... Oh, here. Okay, never mind. Uh, to get your free auto body and paint training manuals, guides, videos, emails, all that stuff. Just sign up for that. You'll get it. Um, but anyway, keep watching the video until the end. Super important. Okay? Talk to you soon. Share, like, subscribe to the video, and uh, enjoy. Just to get rid of the bond body filler. So you see we got some body filler showing now. Okay, so get that 1K sealer. Super easy to use. You wanna make sure you feather the glaze putty in. Okay, and this is what primer should look like feathering into bodywork. See, it's all feathered in. They call that feathering in. So we're just gonna go around the van. Uh, make sure we got every little piece sanded. I'll just razor blade the windows quick, get everything ready so we're ready for paint. That's pretty much it. So super easy to clean windows from overspray or whatever. I'm using a razor blade. Okay guys, so this is the good van project. All sanded, ready to go. Um, we do have some body filler and metal spots showing. It's not a big deal. Okay, what we're gonna do with that is put a 1K sealer on top of it right before we start spraying. It's completely washed. We washed it last night. It's been sitting in the garage overnight, so it's pretty much dried, okay? Um, before doing any type of painting you always want to make sure you blow out all the seams so we also did that we just blew out all the seams here with our air gun okay to get any water if there's any trapped water anywhere you want to make sure it's dry before you do anything so now what we're going to do is do the outline masking so i'm going to use and you always want to use a good masking tape so what we're going to be using is where do i have it Somewhere around here, I got a bunch of it. Here we go. We're gonna be using American brand. Never use cheap masking tape because you're gonna end up with the glue stuck on it. You know, if you let it sit for a day out in the sun, it's gonna give you major, major problems, okay? Uh, you don't, also, you don't wanna use the regular painter's tape. And I use that for quick stuff, but never when doing a paint job, okay? This is okay for just masking while you're doing body work. Like if you just want to try to reduce some primer overspray, you're taping around the window, you're masking something up fast, you could use this stuff. But as far as a proper masking job, you always want to use a, a 3M, uh, but this is the PG brand the Mer by American. Uh, this is good tape. So if you want, this is the one I've been using for 15, 20 years, okay? Um, this is the one I'll use. So we're gonna do an outline. So I'm basically gonna outline all of our windows, things that I don't want painted, you know? 
Um, here, the antenna, I tried taking it off, it was giving me a problem, so I'm just gonna mask it up. I'm not gonna worry about it. You can see the prior paint job, so I might mask up a little less so we can get the white in there. But yeah, this thing is kind of like old and didn't want to come out. I tried taking it out, so whatever. Yep, um, so we're gonna mask in the window everywhere so we don't get overspray. This, is, this will come out later, a little primer overspray on there. We'll take that out at the end. Um, so yeah, let's get masking. At the corner like this, you just kind of like bring it in. Just like, and you grab it. Right? And just tuck the bottom in all the way around and you're pretty much good to go super easy plus it looks good you could reuse them if you want um, so now we are going to basically wax and grease remove the whole thing wipe it down um, we're going to spray some sealer on these areas some of the areas where uh, we have exposed metal okay and then uh, we're going to shoot it all right pretty simple we're going to be using the nascent select seal 1k all we do is just mix it in here. We don't add anything to it. Put it in our gun, spray it. Um, and then about 15 minutes, 20 minutes after this dries, flashes, then you spray your, uh, your paint. But we're not gonna worry about it because we're gonna start on the roof and then come down. Pretty much it, see you in the next clip. We're using the Select Seal uh, by Mason 1K sealer. You don't have to add any additive, reducer. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna spray this. Yeah, and just keep in mind if you're spraying any kind of sealer where you're not gonna be sanding it, okay? You're just gonna be spraying a sealer and spraying base coat. You wanna use a decent gun when spraying sealer because you want it to lay on very smooth, right? If you have orange peel sealer, then your base coat's gonna be orange peeled, okay? This is why some people rather Okay, and this is why I also teach, instead of using a sealer, if you feel like it's another extra step, you don't have to do a sealer. You could just use a 2K filler primer, block sand it, flat, you know, really nice, take your time. You can wet sand it or dry sand it um, with uh, 400 grit and uh, that'll make it stage. ready for paint. Acrylic white enamel here. I used all of my sealer. Pretty much done with this. Um, we're done with wax and grease remover. You do not want to wax and grease remove over the 1K sealer. It will melt it. Gun butt on Amazon or eBay. Um, they're really, really good. They work unbelievably well. Helps you out. As you can see, this section of my garage is very dark back here. But when you put the gun butt on and you're painting, it really lights up the panel so you can see exactly what you're doing. Uh, the Atom spray guns over at Zula.com or Amazon or whatever, they give you a free gun butt ultra lighting system, so definitely check that out. Um, as you know, you can't fake reviews on Amazon. It's got hundreds of reviews from people around the world using this product. So I gave you the mixing ratios for this uh, 8 one, 1 so 8 parts paint, 1 part hardener, 1 part reducer. Now you know that's fine, you can always add a little bit more reducer if you feel like it's a little thick, okay? That's why I like mixing with consistency um, be right before I paint because you could just add it, eyeball it, add a little extra reducer and just see what the, by the paint's viscosity and thickness, right? That it looks good it's good enough to spray you know because too thin you could tell right away on the skin on the uh, stick if it's too thick you would also be able to tell by the drips so I teach this in my VIP course as well so don't forget to get your free information and free auto body training at learn auto body and paint .com. okay super important information right now 
it's not the spray gun okay a pro somebody good at painting can take a piece of crap you know a piece of, it is partial but mostly it's not the spray gun all right what is it it's the air settings it's the distance from panel to gun it's gun flow speed and it's lighting those are the main things okay but you know aside from that I would rather be using a really good mid-grade gun versus a cheapo gun okay so you could spend 30 40 50 60 bucks and get a, a cheapo gun I'm telling you right now it's not gonna atomize as well but painters like me and other guys know how to manipulate it by maybe going slower and laying it on heavier if it doesn't have good atomization. This is why we can make, you know, most paint jobs look very good even with a cheap crap gun versus a good gun. And, you know, so gun has something to do with it, but it's it's really not all of it. So what I would say is get a good high-end gun if you can afford it or at least a good medium-grade spray gun uh, to lay it on. All right? Um... The first coat is never going to look like the second coat. So you might have some paint texture, some orange peel, that's normal. The second coat, when you lay it on heavy like this, will make it flow out. So, uh, you know, pay attention. And again, this is a single stage paint job. It's a super quick paint job. It's nothing crazy, a work van. Uh, and we just want to put some nice paint on it, seal it up, make it look good again, revive it. And it came out amazing. So keep watching the video, guys. And also, don't forget to go to learnautobodyinpaint.com uh, to get some free auto body training guides, manuals, emails uh, with links to videos, Q&A, all that stuff. All right? Um, and also, I mentioned lighting. Super important. I cannot stress enough. You need good lighting when painting because part of it is actually watching the paint flow on as you paint. Okay? If you see a dry spot, you want to go back and hit it again, make it wet, right? So lighting is very, very important uh, when it comes to painting. So ch the Gunbud Ultra Lighting System, check that product out. It's a universal spray gun lighting system that fits on any gun, any gun cup. You can see I snapped it on my X27 here. Uh, and it allows you to see so well. And it might look a little, uh, you know, I guess pointed the light might be too like consolidated and pointed on the panel when you're looking at the camera like this but when you're actually using it in person it looks so much better and different so try it out I would definitely try it out talk to you soon thanks bye So I just want to say, guys, don't rush. Take your time. Do a 50% overlay about four to f four to six inches away from your panel. Okay, I'm spraying at about 28 pounds here, probably 28, 29. I'm about four to five inches away from the panel, laying it on heavy, 50% overlay. Not afraid to go over, you know, the same spot two or three times. Laying it on nice, you know. Thick and heavy is how we want to lay single stage, okay? You can see, boom, two coats there, another coat at the top, boom, boom. You know, flow it. Flow it out. Don't rush. Take your time. Lay it on, right? Um, and then the light, I tell you, the light will help you because you can see it lay on glossy. If it doesn't look glossy, if it looks like it's orange peely, go back and hit it again. Like, this is the time to make it as smooth and glossy as possible. And keep in mind, this is the first coat. Your second coat is going to lay on so much nicer. All right? So, uh, thanks for watching.
also another thing, you know, you, it's up to you if you want to spray the whole side of the van. Um, I'm doing it, you know, why not? It takes, it's a little bit more because you got to be smooth with your feet the way you walk and just make sure you can just keep the distance and flow. But you could end it midway and pick it up midway. The only time I wouldn't do that is if I'm shooting a candy or using a metal flake or pearl inside of a uh, carrier or clear coat, then you'd want to go the full panel. But if it was a solid color, single stage like this, I could have ended it with a shorter stroke if I wanted to. Just FYI. Hey, awesome. If you're hope if you're still here watching the video, I want to say thanks. Stay tuned for the next one because we're going to show you how we prepped it for black and did our little graphics and our outlining to make this thing look super super baller and cool. So, uh, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Share, like, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Subscribe and also don't forget to hit up learnautobodyandpaint.com uh, to get your free guides and training videos. Talk to you soon. Bye.